Hello family and friends, welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am your Shaman Empress, aka D Shaman Hummingbird, here for you guys. And this is going to be your October predictions, okay guys? So this is going to be part two, no I'm sorry, part one. Um, I will be putting part two also um, to October's predictions on our Aries only placement channel. So if you're connecting to an Aries or you have a placement, okay guys, um, go over there and also watch your predictions okay because that will be posted as well if you're being called to those messages ding ding this is your confirmation right here all right because they were just saying that um but you need to see where aries is in your chart so you are applying those messages cafeastrology.com is in the description box below also room readings are available for personal so if you want to get you a personal get your rooms read we will get that done personal readings are available all right everything you need to know is in the description box about how to get book okay all right let's see what's going on all my beautiful universe and holy spirits messages for the collective some of you guys just ate some fried chicken or you're frying some chicken um this could have been recently I'm, I'm, i just saw fried chicken somebody you could have even brought chicken from a chicken place i'm seeing like a chicken restaurant this could be somewhere for some of you guys it could be fish and chicken all right let's see i want to use the universe and all these this is just for october position for the collective October old diction for the collective. Ah, Shay, thank you. So this is for so fertility, growth, old, new beginnings. Some of you guys are getting into a new relationship. Someone here can also find out they're pregnant. Yes, you are. You're getting a new relationship, Jupiter, Sagittarian energy. You're going through a rebirth. This could be also what you're pregnant with. Okay, you're about to meet somebody. Yeah, if this person is attached to your north node. Now, for some of you guys that are expecting a baby, I'm seeing a little boy. Mmm. So, you could be connecting to a Piscean, Aquarian, a Cancerian, or a Geminian. I'm seeing also Libran. Okay. Oh, happy birthday. It's Libra season. Happy birthday to my Libra. Okay. Um, here. Yeah, honey. This is coming in. Success is coming in. Some of you guys are about to be a successful person. All right. This is coming in less than a year. Mm -hmm. For some of you guys, you're going to meet this person in a month to four months from now. Shit, this could be in a minute to four minutes. Um, here. What is this? They said the chariot. Yes, the chariot. Okay. Yeah, some of you guys are going to meet this person um, in a... This person could be in a car. They just said the Six of Swords is also aqua area in here. So someone here is in a car. Okay. Um, that you're going to meet this person. Now, this person could have just started like a new job or something. As well. Um, there's something that this person has that they do not want you to see, um, here. So, you know, this person is, um, a hider. This, um, uh, <clears throat> this person will hide things. Okay. Get right in my chair, child. Um, someone here, um, this person is very, very emotional, very, very sensitive here. Uh, this person also had to go through a rebirth, so you know that, and it wasn't good. This is also someone that struggles with communication. I'm an aqua area in sideways. But this person has money. This person that you're about to meet, money has gotten this person through what the number four is all about, achievement right money finances this is also someone that could have a family business start a business or be in partnership uh their stability is stable but it they could be half owner okay um this is also someone that wants to introduce you to their mom or would like to introduce you to their mom Jimin and being a lover's card cancer is the mother of the zodiac. To see how their mom feels about you, they're going to ask their mom that. 
someone's mother is also going to ask them like how much money you, you make or what you do for money this could be if, oh, let's hit the damn button. All right, moms is cutting up in October. Let's just say that. This is somebody that knows that their son it has good money. So this a mom could be on you seeing what you do for work because they don't want you to use their son or daughter for money. This could be also someone here that's like overprotective. This could be something that they have that they don't want you to see, uh, um, you know, that they have, like, you know, their, you know, mother is judgment. It doesn't look like, um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, this person's um, dad and mother could still be together. Yeah, the sun and moon, the sun represents, um, you know, a man, okay? This is also a marriage here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they come from um, a family that had both parents. This is also someone um, that their, their mom and dad could have got... Um, could have got together and broken up and got back together. They went through splits, ups and downs in their marriage. This person comes from a good background. That's another reason that has to deal with why they're successful. Yeah. This is also someone that drives a nice vehicle. This vehicle, they do use this vehicle to pull women. So you know that. Hold on, y'all. They said put. Mm -hmm. They want it like this. <laughs> okay. Um, or this woman does. She likes, she uses this vehicle to pull relationships. That um, they could have found out in the past, everything isn't based off looks. Um, this man could be big. This could this could be a tall man. This could be a, a nymphalum. I might have pronounced it wrong. Hold on, y'all, because I hate when I do that. Y'all know I be trying to pronounce this shit. Hold on. Yes, nymphalum. Now the interesting about um think about nymphalums. Okay, so some of you guys are children of the Anakis or this person. It could be a very spurch spiritual person how they choose to use their gifts they could be a seer they could be a reader um they could be reiki healers like um and some of them go into doctor professions you'll be surprised look at that they just turn my light out and anybody that knows anything about this light or these lights they um they pulsate when they're dying i'll let you know it's dying it just went out they turn my light out um this is confirmation um or some of your doctors <laughs> right your nurses right healers right you wouldn't even know oh someone here also about nephilim those are usually like um because they're giants and this is why right because your children are the fallen angels this um is someone that could be very 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 tall okay and someone here could be tall and like big you know like six four two fifty this person um to be honest I'm going to say this and I'm going to say allegedly. Another reason why they keep these kind of people distracted, they start working on these kind of people as kids because they already know who they are. They all start saying that, I mean, six, you going to play basketball. Really, they're supposed to be protectors of Gaia. Spiritually, that's who they are. Protectors of Earth, your Nephilims, right? The giants, people who protect the planet. But, you know, um, half of our, they distract us allegedly um from babies uh, they do this by work by your gift by who you are they already have it all set up they start working on your intelligence aquarian also rules intelligence okay um early keep you so focused so distracted that you um you can't hear god if anybody knows anything about god god speaks to you in uh isolation that's why you meditate. That's why when you pray, you're quiet. You connect to spirit. You close your eyes. Um, he'll show you downloads and speak to you other ways, too, when you start to be able to tap in more. But that's how, you know, 
Yeah, so so to speak, you know, because this is also a universe here with the sun and the moon. But we just want to move on. This person here could be, oh, this could be how they made their money. This person also could have played like, they said college. They could have played like uh, college ball. Or something like that. Hmm. Now, so you know this, somebody here wants kids, at least three or four. Mm -hmm. This person could still want kids. This person also could have dedicated the beginning of their pentacles on focusing like on like uh, money and if they play the sport that's how they get it and now this is somebody you're meeting somebody that's fortunate now they they want somebody to um grow with fertility with children with um they've been successful somebody here has been successful but now they want to be successful in life in a partnership and love this is how they are moving forward this could be also someone here that has issues or have had issues in the past conceiving mm. They could have went to go see a Nephilim, which is a doctor, to try to help with fertility, to be a birth growth. This person has been blessed by many things, but when it comes to their own family, this is someone that struggled with feeling lonely. Hmm. Yeah. Ding, ding, I'm about to say this. They could have felt like some injustice um, that have been undone. Someone here also lost protection from their ancestors. Yeah. The ancestors weren't happy. This was due to a love situation. Something here about a relationship. It could have been some choices that was made in a relationship in the past. This could be why this person is blocked and why they were blocked from having children. Why God didn't bless them in that area. This could be someone here is like God gave them abundance, gave them money, everything that you can get manifest from the universe, but spiritually, they're blocked. Bringing life back in. Feeling connected to God. With rebirth being here, this is also scorpion energy. This is something that carried on from their past life. It's in their Akasha. <clears throat> This is also someone here to be quite honest. Uh they could have they they could they were married before. Mm hmm They didn't get what they wanted out that marriage and they didn't get children. And this lifetime, this person was supposed to experience this. Hmm. This can also be a woman. If you're connected to a woman, she could be um, not able to conceive. If you're connected to a man, he would be sterile. This person is um whatever something that they did blocked them in this life from having children. To be quite honest with you guys, it could be from this bloodline. 
No, I'm going to hit the damn button because we're about to have a damn moment. Yeah, and that's... what I just heard, I'm being very careful because I don't know if I can see that on here. The blessing in this that God still have uh, blessed this person with some sort of abundance and it's great abundance. This person, in one way, they are like extremely successful, but in another way, they are ex like extremely unsuccessful. And this is something they did in their past life. I can say that they just said. This is also someone here that may not remember. You know, when we come back, we don't always remember. You know, we're in this life like, God, I'm doing this. I'm doing so good. I'm doing all this. Why don't I have that? In this lifetime, a lot of us come back to clear our karmic debt. A new beginning. And have to manifest from that. We forget a lot of our past life. We get visions. We get dreams. This is Neptune energy here. Of past life, of or past life. Some of you guys might be having dreams of your past life. Even with this person in them. Yep, they just confirmed that. Hmm. And so you get visions, you know, dreams. We get images, dreams. You know, you might not dream for another week, but you don't. And, and then you might forget your dream. But those are visions of your past life. Those are your revelations. It could be God trying to give enlightenment on things that happened in the past life of why this debt has to be caught off. And if you are connected to this person, um, then you, you know, when you connect, you take on somebody else's karma, right? Period. I don't care if it's karmic children. It doesn't matter when you marry them. It's like you're, you know, marrying who they are if they have kids then you would be what a stepmom they say if you would be a stepdad because you are stepping up to the plate hmm. um this um, person also um, could have took bad advice from their mother and their father. Some things they could have, you know, took in some things they left out because they struggled in their marriage. They can also be like, well, you know, mom or dad, this is your fault because in that period, y'all weren't together. And I had to do new things. I had to learn new things. And it's not benefiting me in my relationships. Someone here got in trouble a lot when they were a child. Someone here could have went to juvenile or even jail. This person could have went through a, a rough patch when their parents split up. But this is, um, this person, this is also somebody that lies. They don't lie about everything with Aquarian being here sideways and Mercury upside down. But they do lie about shit, the shit they think is important, damn. Let's hit the button. Shit. They ain't going, okay? Sabotage. Hmm. Or this is a woman that lies. This is also a woman or a man that lies about their past. They're, like everything about their past, they're going to lie about it. Because there's something they don't want you to see with the sun card. Give enlightenment on. And it is big. This can also be a bigger woman. A tall woman. A big and tall woman. But even though this person is very big and very thick. They're also very sensitive. Also their sensitivity can send them very emotional. And they can. when they So when they get emotional they get mad.
they act out what they feel. So which means they might not think with awkward wearing and her being sideways. This person will react before they think. Y'all might have a big ass fallout and then they'll think about what they did and be like, you know what, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. I didn't understand. I didn't see that. That's this person. So, let's see. 2022, honey. 20 minutes and 22 seconds on a timer. Let's get this. Let's get you some tarot. We're going to get you some oracle cards as well and see what else is going on here, honey. Let's see. All right, guys. This is just for the collective. Almighty, beautiful universe and holy spirits. What's the messages for the collective? Ooh. Ten of Swords, yeah. They don't want you to know something. Five of Cups. This is someone here that is still hurt. They act like everything is fine, but they're not. Nope, they're still healing. Four of Swords. Someone here is a doctor. They could have went to go see a doctor. This person also could have went to go see a doctor in their past life. I mean, in their past relationship. They could have paid. Yep, I can't karma six of cups from their past life they could have also i just saw the king of swords and the king of pentacles they could have paid someone here also could have paid for like uh fertility uh what what, what is that vitro there's somebody here pay for vitro This person um, went through a lot of shit. Six of Cups and Nine of Pentacles when they were a teenager. That they never healed from. Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords was also Hope the Virgo, the House of Health. That's why they are stressed out or has some kind of... This, this person deals with um, anxiety. Let's see the oracle cards. We're going to get an angel number for you guys too. This person also um, could have the fact that they have struck, they struggled with maybe their uh, sexuality. Whether this is a man or a woman. This is someone that could have been with like a woman before or like a man before or at least tried it. Ooh. We have the six of pentacles in reverse. We have the Ten of Wands and we have the Eight of Cups. I'm sorry, the Ten of Swords. Oh, the Ten of Swords is here twice. I told you dreams. Some of you guys are getting, or this person has, God has showed them how they have to move in this lifetime, why they are actually blocked. And this has to do with past life karma. This is a cup. Scorpion energy. Leo Virgo here. Aqua Arian Capricorn. Arian Tessorian. I told you. Look at this. Uh, here. This could be like spiritual court. It's written in this person's Acacia. What else is here? This person here could have lost a lot of money. Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords, trying to, like, conceive. Six of Cups with somebody. Um, some of you guys could be in your masculine energy as well. What else is here for the collective? Also, you know, in certain contracts, you're supposed to make a, a, a lot of, a certain amount of money. Like, for example, basketball players, and I brought this up um, earlier. Let's say they have a four-year contract for $2 million. Okay, but after them years is up, especially if they don't get hurt, that $10 million got to last them until they get another contract. And guess what? Some people don't. That's how people go broke. And you go buying like million dollar mansions and all this shit, but your contract's for four years. So then you, you know, you get on, then you on YouTube with your mansion being repossessed or abandoned mansions. You wonder how that happens. That's how. What else is here? 
mature woman. Expectation. Yeah. Someone here could be older. It's like, exactly, this person could feel like, if this is a successful person, their youth. Can I say that part? Okay, thank you. They said I can. Their youthful years was put into their dedication, their work, and or career. Yeah, and um, for some of you guys, for a lot of you guys, and now it's like hard to conceive for this person. For some of you guys, that is also uh, a situation here that I'm seeing on my card. Damn. Yep, here we the lover's card. I can't make that up. Yeah. This person wants me. I told you something wealth. Sutton Wealth. This person still wants a connection. I'm not going to take all these cards. I'm going to take what I see here. The uh, ring and the lover's card. They still want to get married. And they still want to try for children. Someone here could like. They're like look I got the money. I'm going to pay for all this. But in actuality. They'll go broke doing this. Sutton Wealth. And we got the Eight of Swords. Yeah. It's like they get their self caught up in this. Uh-huh. Look at this. House. This person could have a very nice house. I was just saying that. They could have, a, like, a nice house. Yeah. We have the distance card, the bridge. Someone here also could, like, live next to a bridge. Someone here also could, like, own a boat. This person has established money. This person... Um, has accumulated money, but they also lost a lot of money. This is also could be like a celebrity. But they lost a lot of money at the same time. And the little money that they have on, they're trying to spend it on making themselves happy. A family, a child. Um, this is also someone here that could have paid for work. Like BBL, Botox, to keep their youth. To keep them, like, looking younger. Six of Cups and Expectation. Okay? This person is doesn't look like what how old they are because they got Botox. And because they got surgery. And they've paid money. Oh, yeah, honey. It went from the knight to the king of pentacles. But it ha happened over time with mature woman. Okay? Now, also, someone, you got to be careful because when you start cutting and seeing doctors, we got the King of Swords and the Four of Swords, you know, it starts off as Botox, it starts off as this, and the next thing you know, you're paying for a shitload of shit to get done. Look, we got the Five of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles in reverse. Someone here is going to spend a fortune trying to make yourself look young, youthful, to attract and then lose it all. Mm-hmm. This person that you're meeting could feel like um, that, that they did that. Yeah. We got the King of Swords and I just seen the Sun card. Like I said, I want you to see how it came out here. See how it just kind of slid out. You know, we pull everything from the universe on our channels. Mm. Um... Yeah, this, this child, yeah. I, I don't know what else to say here. Some of you guys might want to look into a job adoption with this person. There's other ways here that I'm seeing. Someone here might be considered adopting. This is a new beginning. This person might be saying, look, you guys might go through this a little bit with this person and then it turns into adopt sorry, adoption. You guys might adopt. And it looks like it's going to be a son here. A boy. Also, it could be an energy imbalance here with Libra being in reverse. Happy birthday again. It's Libra season. In case I didn't say that, I think I did. All right. Because um, I'm doing this for the channel. And uh, it's only placement channel as well. So I might sit over there. Um... Uh, 
somebody um, also um, feels like an old mindset. They had it. They were stuck in an old what was that mindset for a while, and that old mindset cost they ass a lot of money. This is the way they're thinking about you know how things should go. Their image, their looks. They spent a lot of money on body work. A lot of money. Eight of Swords to the Sutton Wealth, and they they were hell bent on doing that. They were stuck on doing that. You guys are still going to be able to afford a nice wedding, though. Oh, yeah. And live a nice life. Look at this. This is also someone here that likes to take risks. They yeah, had the Ten of Pentacles, but they got secrets. Yeah, about the journey they were on. Look, this mature man and this mature woman. Now, this is also someone. Some of you guys could have won the lottery or you have a winning lottery ticket. I don't care if $3 was on it. Okay, 2020. Is your angel number here, guys? All right, angel number 2020. This is a reminder to find balance in life. Remain true to yourself and focus on spiritual growth. This person is trying to find balance right now. And this is with you, but they've been through something. And this is someone here, they're not going to tell you they were married right away. Mm -mm. They went through a divorce. This is also someone here, yep, as I'm going to say this. See, they don't have the money they used to because also they invested a lot in this relationship. They also could have been paying for somebody's um, body to get done, injections to get done, lip injection, face, all this stuff. But this is someone that never gave them life, a legacy, a child. That's where you are coming in. We have the lovers in the Ace of Wands. Now, they still going to treat you like a privileged lady. But you, for some of you guys, you're going to have to take a chance to give them a baby, though. Mm. Because of what they went through in their last relationship, last connection. This is someone here, they feel like, you know what, uh, what I got left, the money that I have left. King, yep, King of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to make sure, even if I got to be sneaky, seven of swords, that I'm going to get what I want. And it's because of a past heartbreak. And a lot of you guys, this is a child. Yeah. Uh, someone here could be into like, um, like Zodiac. This person does hide how sensitive they are and how much they were hurt in this past relationship. Someone here also could have paid for therapy, counseling. All right, that's what it looks like for the month of October. So this is, looks like a connection coming in for some of you guys. You're going to have to... Um, compromise is what they just said. If you're not going to compromise in the way of the child, then you might have to find another way to compromise. Now, this is also someone here is going to lose some money in October because of something they did in the past. Someone here also don't have money for their rent. They're trying to figure out how they're going to pay it. This is someone here that's been making bets and deals the lottery. They could be good with numbers, but this month in October, the numbers ain't hitting. Someone else in October could be laying there thinking like, oh my God, actually getting haunted psychic attack about money, how they're going to pay their money, how are they going to um, pay their bills. Someone here thinks you're smart and sexy as well. Someone here does want to introduce you to um, someone they grew up with that's older than them. Because they think you are perfect. This person wants 
to create something with you they never had. Yep, run away. They could be running away from a relationship that they're um, from the past. Running away from having to deal with that situation is simply really, how do I feel? I want us forever. They want you forever. This is someone here that is like running away from an ex as well. And they are like totally done. Yep, ghosted. I can't make this shit up. Mm -mm. And they see you and they're going to want something to say. Now, for some of you guys, this is a twin flame. You're about to reconnect with your twin flame. Hmm. Or you're going to meet your twin flame for the first time. Okay, I see you. Let's go ahead. Let's get these uh love. Um, so this is your twin flame that's been going through this. Yeah. Um, this is a twin flame too that has um left a relationship, and they could have stopped paying the bills there when they stopped feeling okay when they knew they were leaving. You know, when you leave, it's it's physical. It's meant. I mean, it's mental first. It's like they intentionally did this to split up with somebody. Damn. So they stopped like paying the bills. They turned into the king of swords. They stopped paying the bills. They stopped supporting because they knew they were the support. And eventually the house will fall apart from this main female. Oh my gosh. That they could have been married to. It's like, okay, this was their way out. There's talk about this. This person can't stop thinking about you. There could be talk around you guys. There could be talk around the money. Like, well, what happened to the money? I thought this was happening. Eight of Pentacles. Look at this, the coffin. This person got it, but they ain't giving it. Not to this person. Whether this is a man or a woman, this was their way out. It's like, oh, we're losing the house. Oh, well, you know... We're splitting up. I'm going to just go this way. You go the other way. This isn't working anyway. That's why they stopped giving into the relationship. Time, money, effort. Bond. This is someone here that's doing this because they want to. They know that they're called to be with their twin flame. With Jupiter being there. Yep. They recognize. They recognize a lot. So your twin flame. Yep. Even when they feel lost, there is a way through the labyrinth. Damn, it. Damn. They got out of a labyrinth connection that they recognized that they were in. Child, wow. I don't even, it's like, I mean, that's another way. See, it was you, somebody else, that this person was in between, breaking dawn. This shit is like, this is somebody that's going to break dawn. It could be wee hours in the morning when this person leaves this other house, leave this house, leave this whole situation. Mm, mm, mm. An important end and a new beginning. I can't make it up. It's already there in your rooms, honey. This is just clarification. Some of you guys got blue uh, curtains or you could have like blue carpet or blue furniture and that's crazy because even in oh my god damn it damn it there's damn a karmic it. here damn it. it is gonna be dawn it's gonna be wee hours in the morning when they're gonna realize this person's going they will try to call them up like is everything cool everything fine what's going on no everything ain't cool everything ain't fine damn that's your confirmation what else is here damn y'all Clean up time. This person is cleaning shit up. Your twin flame. Your essential alley is beautiful. But you guys could have been going through some things. Yep, the signs are already with the both of you guys about what's going on here. You might be feeling this, seeing synchronicities, angel numbers, things of that nature. Where you on my channel, you are. Yep, drama. Drama. And sweet memories someone here like their memories of this ex of this ex connection ain't nothing but damn drama 
And someone here, I told you, sewer, your sensuality is beautiful. They were paying for like Botox, body, then they couldn't pay for a BBL. But their personality stinks. Their inner person stinks. They're a true, they're a, they're a sewer mermaid. Damn. A clear solution. You see that lantern? It's out. Get in enlightenment being out. Yep. Because see, they see something. Intoxication, distorted view, and overindulgence. They see it. They didn't see it before. Um, there's four eyes on here. So I might have took four specific big things. With Jupiter being here, I told you four being here as well. For them to finally see it. This was the final straw. Look at this. Magical space clearing time. Now they see clearly you and them. And look at this. See clearly. Oh my God. Clairvoyance. I can't make this up. Now they're seeing. Now for some of you guys. They were on using the right side of their brain. Now they're losing the left side of their brain. The right side guards like dreamy. Like um, fantasies. Now they're seeing the left side of their brain practical very grounded the truth this is also you see how blue communication or communicating on a very practical grounded side they're able to make better decisions they had to heal first child woo so for october it looks like your twin flame is coming to senses about what's going on. This is a new beginning in this person's life. But this is someone that wants a new beginning as well with you. So your twin flame for a lot of you guys is a Nephilim. Mm -hmm. So this person is very big, very tall, or above. This is someone that could be six something, 200 or something. Or could just be extremely tall and skinny. Also, I'm um, a nice height, but very thick. Someone here could be in an industry of some sort. Athletes. I keep getting athletic energy. Or it could just be extremely athletic as well. Take it how it resonates with you guys. Ciao. Yep. Yeah, so. Some things to talk about for October. For some of you guys, when you see the signs of this person being very, very close to you, it's going to be when it starts snowing. This could be in, like, the winter months. Yeah, when you start to see uh, the signs are already with you and a clear solution. Some of you guys could have also just saw a butterfly today. All right, guys, we're going to shut it down right there. I hope this helps you out in more ways than one. Don't forget to connect your frequency and your energy to your tarot readings. Like and subscribe and share and commenting, uplifting, or all donations to the channels. And it will keep you tapped in to your spiritual messages. I love you all. Stay dope. Next video upload. Ashe and Amen.